A new bill inspired by Corey Walgren could help protect students when questioned by law enforcement or school authorities at their school. Naperville News 17's Christine Lena has the details. In January 2017, 16-year-old Corey Walgren died by suicide not long after he was questioned by school officials and a resource officer at Naperville North without a parent present. His story touched Neuqua Valley senior Reka Iyer, who happens to be a member of the Youth Advisory Council for Representative Stephanie Kifowit. Together, the group looked into the topic. So after reading this article, um, we went through a bunch of different databases to look at legislation. Uh, like, what is the protocol for when, when a student gets called in, you know, when they're accused of an offense? Like, when, when does the parent come into play? When does a guidance counselor come into play? After their research, the group drafted legislation that provides parental support to students if they're questioned for a criminal allegation at school, just as Corey had been. But to get any traction, the bill needed to be brought to Springfield. We have a judicial system where you can have representation. Um, so really a student should have somebody there looking out for their mental well-being, uh, making sure that the conversation is, is above par. And overall, um, nobody should be in that situation alone. So Representative Kifowit introduced HB 2627, which would amend the Illinois school code stating, that a student may not be questioned or detained at a school site without the presence of the student's parent or guardian, a school social worker, or a licensed mental health professional. Corey's mom, Maureen, likes the good intentions the bill has, as it involves a social worker or healthcare professional in an interrogation. Like never leaving the child alone and then having him sit with a social worker or healthcare professional while he waits um, would be, um, I'd be completely on board with. That's absolutely kind, kind of just common sense. But she has some reservations about the bill's wording. She worries the phrase, parent or guardian, a school social worker, or a licensed mental health professional could lead to a social worker or healthcare professional being in the place of a parent in these situations. Maureen suggests adding more detail to the legislation, an idea the group welcomed. That's why we're really open to any sort of amendments, any sort of any sort of comments that they have because they went through this and their experience is invaluable to, to making this bill as, as good as it can be. Maureen also thinks a memorandum of understanding could be a good option for schools as well. That is a detailed document that's in place between the school and the police department that very clearly spells out the role of the school resource officer and what their involvement is in disciplining kids or interrogating kids at school. So specific, in fact, it could get down to when parents are contacted. The Illinois School Code, the Department of Education, and other federal organizations recommend a memorandum of understanding. But according to Maureen, not a lot of schools have one in place. I think the better form for a memorandum of understanding should come from the school board laying out the process in which they are working with the resource officers in the schools under their jurisdiction. As with many bills, we start with a small step forward and then we can see how that is progressing and how it's working. Steps that could make all the difference in making students being questioned feel they have support. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena. As the bill is filed in the House, Representative Kifowit and her youth council invite comments and changes to their bill before it's seen before a subcommittee.